Hey there friends, Nibs again. Uh, I wanted to get out and do a little shooting this afternoon. Um, what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to do today was uh, I put up a video yesterday and I was doing some testing of this uh, new production Federal Auto Match and uh, had some good suggestions uh, on some things I may have uh, done better or uh, uh, done differently yesterday. And uh, what I wanted to do, the first one was, the suggestion was I should try uh, test the new production against some older production. So I do have several boxes of this older production. I know that this is at least five or six years old. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I tried to do some research and find information on Federal's date codes and uh, I really came up short, really couldn't find anything. So um, what I'm gonna be doing though, the other suggestion was, uh, so I had to test these two together and then the other suggestion was to uh, bring out my uh, chronograph and really use that to test the numbers here. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I will shoot um, 10 rounds of the new. We'll look at those numbers, then 10 rounds of the old, and we'll compare them to the the new numbers. And, uh, and I'm shooting a target out at 25 yards just to just to have something to aim at. But uh, more we're looking at looking for the uh, the velocity numbers here to see if there's a big bunch of discrepancy here. So I'm going to shoot this at the lower right target of my six bullseye target here. So that was uh, 1174. started this a couple different times already and I, I'm new to this app for this Caldwell and I, I do finally have it running so it's it's uh, giving me the data that we need uh, here so so that one was 11.79 so the box says that muzzle velocity on this ammo should be 1200 feet per second so I'm a little bit out from the muzzle so I think these numbers are, you know, pretty consistent with reality. That one was 11.53. Definitely got some guys over at the other ranges here uh, having some fun today too, so have to bear with that gunfire in the background, but. Eleven sixty-seven. I like this new Caldwell. Uh, I had a Crony um, F1, and it just seemed to finally give up on me. I couldn't get it to work. It turns on, but it doesn't ever register a shot. So I don't know what's going on with it. That shot was eleven seventy-four. this video ends up running a little too long, I may cut some of these shots down or put this in fast motion or something for all of these shots, I don't know. 11.08, so that one was a little weak. I mean, that still, I could, I could detect the less power with that one, but it, you know, the difference, you know, when I, when I think of something that's gonna be, you know, that would be, I was thinking more of like, you know, sub thousand. So the wind was blowing a target around on that one. So I was 1164. But they're still just about all touching out there. Same hole again, 11.55. So that one that was a little bit lower, that one did actually go in the same hole as the other one. So I've got one ragged hole that's basically in the nine or 10 ring of my three inch bullseye out here. And I will show you that bullseye when I'm done. 
So that one was $11.39. I got one more. I got one more of the new production. Again, same hole again. So every one of those shots is either a nine or a ten, nine or a ten on my bullseye. So, so that last shot, I almost cleared my uh, data here. So that last shot was 1140. So we had 10 shots. Um, our minimum was 1108. Maximum was 1179. Spread of 71 feet per second. And uh, standard deviation of 21.6. And an average of 1155. So, <clears throat> had that one that was 1108, that one really kind of threw off our our average a bit, but uh, I still don't think any of those uh, were, were terrible. You know, this is, uh, again, this is bulk box ammo. It's not, it's, they call it auto match, but uh, it is intended to be, you know, plink in or just for target shooting or whatever. So I just opened up this brand new box of old production Federal. Um, so what I'm going to do, I got to, I'll save this group here. I got to stop, save group, and then I'll start a new group. And uh, so now I will shoot uh, 10 shots of the old production. And we'll see if there's any difference. So what do we got, seven minutes here? So not too bad. Twelve oh six. Duplicate twelve oh six. But it did register, so. Showed an error, I would throw that one out, but. That one was 1222. So it definitely looks like the older production might have a little bit more pepper behind it. Twelve thirty one. Another one hole group going down there, 1208. off to the right a little bit. 12, 13. I got one little flyer in this group so far. I got kind of a flyer in the other group too, but they're all pretty much touching in the other one, so. 12, 02. Same hole again, 12.02. So that was eight shots. I got two more to go. Again, 12.06. So it does look like the speeds on, on this older stuff is a little more consistent. And again, uh, one whole group, 12.03. So let's take a quick look at these numbers here. Had 10 shots. Um, 
at a minimum of 1202, maximum of 1231, uh, spread of 29, our spread on the other one was what, 71? Um, standard deviation of 9.2 and an average of 1210. So, save that group. Um, let's uh, pause the camera, I'll pause the camera, we'll go down there and look at that target real quick and then I'll wrap it up. Alrighty there friends, here's the uh, the target for uh, the Federal Auto Match. Um, so I, like I said, I did start this video a couple times and didn't have my chronograph uh, running. So here's a target I did with the, uh, the new production, another one I did with the new production, and then I finally figured out how to get the chronograph running right, and then these are the ones I did on camera. So this is uh, 10 shots with the new production ammo. Uh, all in the uh, 9 ring and 10 ring and then this is the group I did with the uh, old production all, again all in the 9 ring and 10 ring so let's uh, go back to the table and we'll talk about it a little more alrighty friends I'm back here uh, so we were uh, we're comparing new production federal auto match to old production federal auto match testing it out of my Winchester model 52D, a very nice rifle, uh, and on top of that I have a Redfield model uh, 3200, and this is a 24X. You saw the, uh, the targets that I did, so it's a lot less velocity, well a lot less, uh, it's, they, they're averaging about 25 or 50 feet per second less than all the older production but the the accuracy is still right there um, out of out of all of the rounds I shot today I shot 30 rounds out of this box and uh, I had one that was let me go back to that saved group I had the minimum was 1108 um, most of them were all of the rest of them were like 1140 up to uh, 1140, 1139 up to 1175. So that one round uh, was the only one that I saw down low like that. And again, with mass production ammo, uh, to have a round that is just that little bit low, I don't think is terrible. You know the way that people are making it sound it sounded like they had double loads and half loads and things like that um, not just something that was you know maybe one grain of powder less or one you know one flake of powder less uh, is what would cause that kind of a deviation but um, the uh, the older production was more consistent at least in this minimal test right here I only shot 10 rounds of the old production I shot 30 rounds of the the newer stuff today and I had that one round that was about 30 feet per second less or not even it was 20 22 feet per second less than the the next lowest shot so and it was so my average was 1155 so it was 37 feet per second less than my average is that terrible I don't think so not for bulk ammo I mean I, I, I'll I'll have to do some testing with some other stuff. I have some Remington Golden Bullets and all that sort of thing. Um, I know the Winchester White Box is going to be terrible, but <laughs> um, anyway, I don't want to drag this on too much more. The, the one from yesterday was pretty long, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I really appreciate everybody commenting yesterday on the other one um, to to try this, and it was it was a good idea, um, and it just proves that. Uh, you know, even though this might not be as absolutely consistent as the older stuff, it's still a decent quality ammo, and uh, it, and I'll keep buying it. So, anyway, hope you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.